Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to a Thursday night thrifting adventure. Tonight is part two of our trip to Erie. It was me and my Aunt Beth and my cousin Grace and my mom and my sister. All five of us went into Erie. We were on a mission to check out the Finders Keepers, which happened Tuesday. If you missed that video, I will put it up here. After we left Finders Keepers and after we had a good lunch, we went to the Thrifty Shopper, which is run by the Erie City Mission. Now, I had been to a smaller Thrifty Shopper a few months back. Actually, I will put that video up here too. Irf and I were out camping and we ended up in this area. And that is when I learned that they had a second uh, Thrifty Shopper in Erie, more in the, you know, Erie, Eeriest area. <laughs> and so that was kind of second on the list for us to get to when we were out with my family. So we are going to start there. We're going to do some shopping. Without further ado, let's go shopping. This place was located on Erie Street in Erie, PA. Nice big place. They had kind of a donation side and a store side and the shop was big. Um, I kind of started rolling when we got in past the front section. And let me give you an idea of how large this place is. You can see it's, it's a nice big kind of warehouse style place with lots of stuff. Not all the prices were great. This box of sugar coated fruit here was $30. They had three boxes. Now I learned that you should look for these. These were sold on QVC. And this box in particular, it sells probably $30 to $40, so they have retail on this. But if you find a box that has the Christmas tree on it, that goes for a little bit more. So you can see here, um, about $100. Um, I also saw like an $80, $90 one. So it seems like there were a couple of years that those were sold and some are a little bit more valuable than others, but definitely look them up. This was a beautiful piece, kind of an Empoli style optic brandy snifter with that nice twirl. Um, this was a cute little swung vase, not worth a lot. And the inside was really cloudy. So I'm not sure if that would come clean. And this one I love. This is a beautiful crackle glass, although I think it's modern because the top of it was very clear. And so I loved it. I did like that they had assembled that nice little amber, you know, area over there. This place is a color coded discount place. So today we were looking for 75% off orange or yellow, which was 50, or blue or pink, which was 40 and 30 but we had to keep our eyes open for the color tags, which I'm really bad at, I, fi I figured out. Cause I go back through these videos and I'm like, wow, that was half off. <laughs> I didn't even notice. This is a nice big set, um, nativity set. Now these were glazed and they did not have any information on them, but you should keep an eye out for these sets. If you can find a bisque set that needs to be painted, that is a good deal or if you find many other white glaze sets avon has one goble has one they are worth money like you know over 100 150 dollars so keep an eye out don't you know pass it over just because it's a simple white set um that one i did pass over because it was not an atlantic mold set it didn't have any markings on it it didn't have the value that, you know, some others do. And I didn't want to deal with shipping all of those pieces. This is a bummer. <laughs> I picked this up because it was $13.99. And I am looking for a set, a uh, flannel set for our bed. Turns out I should have kept it in my cart because it's worth between $55 and $60. So even if, you know, I didn't decide to put it on the bed, I could have sold it. And nope, I put it back. I decided that I didn't like it for us. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just maybe by the time we got here, I don't know. I don't know if I wasn't in a shopping mood or in a spending mood. Um, maybe just because I had envisioned it for us. I thought, you know, I really don't need it. But $13.99 was a great price for a set that would sell for $60. Now this was a little different. This had some gold on it. This is a smaller set, um, almost looked like Lennox, 
They were asking 20 for that set, um, and I did not look those up, so I apologize for that. This was cute. Cats and watermelons and apples. <laughs> Some of these throws, I keep saying, can be worth money. This one, not so much. They had six bucks on it. Looks like it would sell for maybe 20 25 I did not find a sales comp, so I did pass on it. Oh, that one was so soft. It did have some snags in it, though. And again, that would have been something I would have wanted to keep. I passed by that corner section and some of those electronics, and man, I probably should be looking up some of those. At least, you know, pick like one or two things just to kind of educate. Now you saw me kind of run for this guy. <laughs> I spotted him and I was like, oh, look at him. This is another regret. He was $6.99. Now, I did not show this, but in the very bottom of him on the inside, it looked like there was some damage, like something maybe got dropped down into there and it was kind of spidering out and it had some discoloration. He still is amazing for display. Um, and he's another thing that went in the cart and then went back on the shelf. I think I just could not imagine, you know, buying him with that damage. Ugh. Yeah, I think I left here with only one or two things. And you'll see. I'll, of course, I'll share. <laughs> now, this is something that I love. I call this my mantra. It is a saying that reads that life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. And ever since I saw that years ago, I just kind of adopted it. <laughs> oh, check this out over here. See that thing down there? Yeah, I didn't see it either. <laughs> oh, that, my friends, is a glassy baby. It was sitting over there. I feel like this is deja vu because I was here once before a couple months back with a Ray Dunn mug that I passed over and my aunt found. <laughs> These are really cool. Although they were $13 a piece and I don't think they had very much age. They were just made to look old. Oh, look at me over here. Check me out. Oh, look, I'm a classy baby. <laughs> Oh, I know I looked through there. I did, I swear. And then now I'm on the other side and I'm checking out. This is kind of like right across from where that, that one shelf was. These were made by Ralph Lauren. I'd never seen these before. This is really cool, although super light and fragile. Look at the colors on this. I want to say it was flash though. It says made in China. Um, actually, this is made in Taiwan, a Republic of China. So that's some age. This is a cool piece. Modern. And if you see the chippies right there, um, that's also like a flashed piece. This blue piece in here was beautiful. Had a cool little floating bubble in the bottom. It bugged me that it wasn't quite centered and the bottom was not also flat. Like it didn't sit flat. Now I find my first thing and oh my gosh, if you saw Tuesday's video, I found him at the Finders Keepers and I loved him, but he wasn't this cute and here he was again and there wasn't any damage that I could see, no chippies around the top. Oh, I take that back. There is a little bit of damage here, but it's forgivable. Yeah, I was excited to find this guy. Let's take a look at him up close. Earlier in the day when we were at Finders Keepers, I saw one of these. I'll actually do like a split screen over here so you can see him side by side. The coal paint on that one was like coming off and he was in pretty bad shape. But when I spotted him again, I was like, oh, cause I just love him. Look at his face. He's adorable. Now I wanna say this is probably a hobbyist piece. And I say that because since this guy and seeing the other one, I have seen a third piece. It was on my friend Natisha's channel, Eclectic Vintage Thrifter. You can go see it yourself. I will link it below. But he was painted completely red. Which makes no sense to me because I think this is Santa. Like he's rolled down a hill and he's in a huge big snowball. I think that's what this is. And can you imagine this filled with those little like rum balls or snowballs they're called, little cookies? Oh my gosh. 
I'm keeping him. I decided I was going to keep him for a while, at least this year. And he's been sitting in the uh, living room. Um, he's just so adorable. I am going to probably put some candy in him for this year and keep him. But he does have a little bit of damage. He's got a little bit of paint chipping here that I want to say somebody hit with a Sharpie. I might actually hit it with some deeper, darker black paint. Um, there's also a little tiny one right here. But his face and his cold paint and everything up here um, and on his candy cane little handle here are in really nice shape. So I love him. And for $5.99, I decided he could come home with me. All right, so leading up to the big find of the day, I am here after I put this put my little guy in my cart. I'm here looking at these dishes. This set was awesome. I thought it was really pretty. And they were asking um, $20 for I think 48 pieces. Yeah, 48 pieces. And then down here was another pretty set. Also a pretty good deal. And then out of the blue, I felt an elbow from my aunt. Shut the front door, you found one? You found one. You found one. A glancy baby. Oh my god. OMG. <laughs> Playing it back. We sound like such idiots. <laughs> but it was exciting because we've seen these all over the place and everybody's saying to look out for them. And this was a cool find. So we went back to look for the box, hoping there was a box, but there wasn't. Let me tell you a little bit about Glassy Baby. If you have not yet heard of them, they are a company in Seattle, Washington that does blown glass, beautiful blown glass um, in these amazing colors. They do votive holders. They do some drinkware. Um, I've seen tumble ups. This is a company that is still in business. You can go check out their products at glassybaby.com. They sell anywhere from like $90 for their votive holders to like $275 for something called a glass slipper, which is kind of like a tumble up. Um, I'll show you a picture here. Some of the colors are discontinued. And if you find some old colors, some of the collectors of these will pay top dollar to get them. My friend Mary, who is an admin for the Old Things Thrifters and Pickers Facebook page, which is the page that was founded by the crazy lamp lady, Jocelyn, she has compiled some information on Glassy Baby. She's compiled information on a lot of things. So if you're not a member of that group, go check out the page. Check out the guide section of the page so you can see Mary's um, information. It's amazing. All right, already, let's get back to the shopping. Now this was a pretty picture until I saw Cracker Barrel on the bottom. Blech. It's funny, I actually have that little sloth mug. <laughs> See some false graph and then up here, of course not for sale. It's this beautiful old Derby Foods box worth probably about 75 or 80 bucks. This piece of furniture was beautiful. Noticing that for a minute here. Then I saw this little teapot up here. I was curious because it said HH and the only HH I had ever seen was Holt Howard, but this is Houston Harvest. It wasn't worth anything. Speaking of not worth anything, <laughs> these glass pieces, lots and lots of them out there. They are just art glass. Most of them are made probably in China. This one they had $9.99 on and it's probably worth somewhere between that and maybe $15 or $17. Um, big difference there between what you would see Murano and, you know, a lot of that art glass. I just, I laugh every time because everybody sees stuff and they're like, oh, it's Murano. <laughs> and it's not. It rarely is. Neat shelves in here. Lots of little cubbies. And I liked these brass pieces, but they were super light to the touch. Lots of little things. And then up here I saw these guys. And I love anything that's like animatronic. And these guys were a push button sing-along. Cute. Little penguin shakes his bell. I was talking to my aunt about them because I had just seen one sold at our shop. We have a couple of boots at the Shops by the Lake, 1781, North Ridge Road in Painesville, Ohio, if you're in Northeast Ohio. Go check out the Shops by the Lake. 
Lots more Christmas stuff. So much Christmas stuff. Oh, I like this little girl here. This little angel. She turned out to be a, a bell without a, a dangler. <laughs> and lots more Christmas stuff. I couldn't believe how much in all the stores that we were in. So much. Up here, I see these modern kind of pillar candle holders. They were cute, but... Oh my gosh, then I see Gronkle from How to Train Your Dragon. I love that movie. If you haven't seen it, you have to go check it out. <laughs> they had him for six bucks. He was probably worth somewhere between 25 and 30. Maybe I should have got him, but that's okay. And then here was several baskets full of ornaments. I'm mostly looking for things that would work for my assemblage and, you know, old things. But let's speed through here because there's places to go. There's some other things to see in this store. So, yeah, let's just get over to... Oh, they had cool jewelry. I like the place because it looked very boutique. Let's check that out. Ah, here we go. Look at how cute this setup is. They had, like, shoes and necklaces and some things that, you know, went together, like necklaces and little purses and stuff. I'll just show you a little bit here out of respect for how they merchandised. I thought it was really nice. The prices weren't bad. They weren't great, but anywhere from a couple of bucks up to, you know, 10 or 12 bucks, depending on what it was. Just thought it was pretty great. Look at these silver pieces and this purse was so cute. I don't think it had very much age. Loved this one. It was like a coral and uh, cream. I love the chonky necklaces. This one was cute too with the bicolor silver and gold. And then I see color around this side. So of course I go right here because I love, you know, all these beautiful colors. It was a cute little bracelet. I was trying to see if it had any marks on it. It did not. Little watch. Cute little pieces down there. And then I'll just give you a glimpse of the rest of the place here. Oh yeah, those were painted beads, glass beads. Those are cute. So I'll just give you a glimpse of the rest of the place over here. Clothes and shoes, very cute. But let's move on to the next place. We have more shopping to do. The last place we visited was Goodwill on Peach Street in Erie. It's back kind of in the corner of a plaza. And one of the very first things I saw was this. This is a handmade candy dispenser and for $3.99 I snagged this. It was funny as soon as I spotted this I was like heck yeah <laughs> if it's under five bucks I want it because I just sold one of these the exact same one. This is like a, maybe an Amish made piece and it's just a nut or candy dispenser. It fits any size ball jar and this one happened to be broke. It's actually cracked right here. Can you see it there? Right up at the lid. So I'm gonna replace this one with a new one, but it doesn't look like it has any sort of wear. It's got an old remnant of a sticker on it. I'm gonna say it was probably sold at like a you know gift shop or something. But they're great and they sell. I think I sold mine for 30 bucks. I'll share the uh, sold. I figured, hey, I got the one sold. <laughs> I can restock with another one. And for $3.99, if I can get, you know, even 25 or 30 bucks, that is awesome. Back to the shelves. We spotted this. It's a Curtis uh, Adler piece. Looks like it sells for about 20 bucks. They had $4.99 on it, so I passed. And then I saw these funky guys. Tell me that is not a butt. <laughs> they were only asking two bucks for the pair. And this is definitely a butt, right? So I snagged these. I set them somewhere. Um, I'm not gonna have them here to show you, but they did come home with me, the butt cups. <laughs> They're signed Hoyt um, 06, and I'm still doing some research on them. So I must have set them downstairs um, to do some research. Then I spotted these, and this is something I did pick up as well. 
They are a vintage paper mache, also known as cloth teak, and I have them listed already. Um, so they're down in my inventory and have been photographed and put up on eBay. Um, they were a nice find. Um, cloth teak has been a good seller this year. Here is the funkiest, coolest wall decor. It is a sock, like a sock monkey, but a sock reindeer. All right. <laughs> All right, so I can't help it. I love this guy. I think he's wonderful, but he was missing some lashes. So he's not missing them now. Let me show you how I made some lashes for this guy. I needed some plastic. So I went in the kitchen looking for like a plastic lid and I thought maybe I have like brown or black lid. And here I found a pretzel lid. You can see here that he was lacking some lashes, but there was some at some point because I saw some glue there. So I knew that he was missing something. And here I thought, this should work. I'm gonna use this plastic. I'm gonna cut out some shapes for some eyelashes. I'm gonna cut some slits. And here I'm using a blow dryer to heat up the plastic. And I'm just gonna wrap it around this Sharpie marker to get that little bit of curl in it. So once it was warm, but I could still touch it. <laughs> I didn't burn myself. I just kind of did a little bit, a little bit of wrapping here around the pen and a little bit more freehand. <laughs> and then look, just got a little curl, separated the lashes a little bit. And then I used this super glue and just glued them right onto him. Always get super glue on my fingers every time. <laughs> Now he's ready for sale. Look at him with his cute little eyelashes and his googly eyes. <laughs> I think he's so cute. Look at how he looks when he's just hanging up on a wall. He's already got a sticker. He's going to the shop with me. I put $14 on him and hopefully somebody will scoop him up for the holidays and put him on a door or put him on the wall and just enjoy him. I think he's great. So then this happened. Grace in a wedding dress. Wow. Get her from the back so she can see how it looks in the back. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you can let it go. <laughs> no, no don't, don't, don't drag it on the floor. What? <laughs> We're going to sell it for the back. Oh, that is amazing. That's amazing. crazy. And there's a size two who's getting married. Wave to the camera. <laughs> oh, what is this? Right next to me where I was recording Grace in her dress. A pretty blouse in my size with the tag still on it. Yes, I love to thrift my clothes. This is just a nice blouse. It kind of had a cool, you know, vintage vibe to it. Um, reminds me of the 90s and you know I lived through them <laughs> I like it I think it's cool and it still had its tags on it so it had never been worn I thrift 90% of my clothes I would say in the last year probably a hundred percent of my clothes um, just because I'm super aware of how big a carbon footprint can get when you're just buying fast fashion um, yeah it's not good so I like to thrift my stuff and I love this blouse. I think it looks great. And I think it looks great with my wall colors. <laughs> so I was happy to find it. And oh my gosh, that dress on Grace. Oh my gosh. She looked beautiful. That thing fit her so nicely. And did you see the train? Woo! It had to have been like 12 feet long at least. It was crazy. And it was so much fun. To, you know, she was just like, I just want to put this thing on. Let's see what it looks like. And oh. That was so much fun. That was like the best way to end a whole day of thrifting to, uh, you know, have everybody there, all the girls there and, uh, you know, experience that moment. It was really cool. All right. So that's the end of the trip. And if you're still here with me, I appreciate you so much. I love you. Thanks for hanging out. If you're still here with me and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that. Simply just click on the little subscribe, click the alarm, set it to all. You'll know when I put up my new videos. It happens a couple of times a week. And then while you're clicking around down there, click a little like or a dislike. I'd appreciate that. And leave me a comment below. Tell me what you saw that maybe I missed or tell me what I got that maybe you liked or 
just say hello. <laughs> and the best thing that you can do is share out my channel. Tell a friend that you found a friend who likes to thrift shop and find treasures and takes you along and ask them to subscribe and join our little Yoso Boho tribe so we can keep the channel growing because it's been amazing. All right, everybody. I really appreciate you. I will see you next week. So have a great weekend and take care and I'll see you then. Bye.